This is for third grade ELA text set 12, um, the importance of determination. Why is determination important? Who knows what a paper boy does? A paper boy delivers newspapers to people's houses. Today, this job is often done by adults who toss newspapers from a car, but is used to be done by older children or teenagers on bikes. In fact, Dave Pickley, the author of this book, was a paper boy when he was young. In this book, he tells a story about a boy who works as a paper boy. What do you think that job would be like? People expect to have their paper early in the morning. They look for it at their front step when they wake up. So it's called The Paper Boy Story and Paintings by Dave Pilkwe. Okay. This is uh, the Caldecott Medal. It says that this is a Caldecott Honor Book. This means that the book was honored for its excellent illustrations. All right, so the story begins with the illustrations of the newspaper truck being loaded in the dark night. The mornings of the paper boy are still dark and they are always cold even, even in the summer. And on these cold mornings, the paper boy's bed is still warm and it's always hard to get out even for his dog. But they do. And softly they step down the quiet hall past the door where the paper boy's father and mother are sleeping, past the door where the, his sister is asleep, and down to the kitchen where they eat from their bowls. So this boy is very independent. What has he done so far? He has gotten himself up, gotten dressed, fed his dog, and made his own breakfast. And out to the garage where they quickly fold their new their papers, snapping on green rubber bands and placing them in a large red bag. So look at the dog holding the bag open. He's a good helper. It's hard to ride a bike when you are loaded down with newspapers, but the paper boy has learned how to do this. He and he is good at it. The paper boy knows his route by heart, and so he doesn't even think about which house to pedal to. Instead, he is thinking about other things, big things and small things, and sometimes he is thinking about nothing at all. His dog, too, knows his, this route by heart. He knows which trees are for sniffing, he knows which bird baths are for drinking, which squirrels are for chasing, and which cats are for growling at. So based on what we've read, how do you think the paper boy feels about his route and why? All the world is asleep except for the paper boy and his dog, and this is the time when they are the happiest. But little by little, the world around them wakes up. The stars and the moon fade away, and the skies become orange and pink. So look at the sky. Why is it the, that color? The paper boy gets to see the sunrise every morning. And when the paper boy has delivered his last newspaper, he and his dog race home, and his empty red bag flaps behind him in the cold morning air. Soon they are back home. It is still dark inside, but the sounds of morning are all around. His father and mother are awake and talking softly in their bed, and his sister is downstairs watching cartoons. And back inside his own room, the paper boy pulls down his shades, crawls back into his bed, which is still warm. And while all the world is waking up, the paper boy is going back to sleep, and his dog is sleeping too. Their work is done. And now is the time of dreaming. So, I want you to look at this illustration on this page, and on page, what are these two pictures tell you about the paper boy and his dog? This page and this page. What does it tell us about him and his dog?